what's going on everyone? I've just arrived in the studio slash grotto now. <laughs> Doing a lot of family shoots etc this time of year. Uh, festive season. So I also have a fashion shoot today down in the gym. I got a model that will be arriving pretty shortly and it's for a fitness apparel brand and aim is to get some pretty sleek garment focused sort of photos. So I have about six or seven garments to shoot, uh, predominantly t-shirts and a couple of hoodies. So it's going to be a candid sort of fitness lifestyle shoot and just to keep up with the style of the fitness brand and yeah, looking forward to it. Let's see how it goes. So when it comes down to a fashion shoot, a lot of the things are pretty much the same. Uh, I've been spending the last 20 minutes or so prepping the garments, making sure there's no creases, etc. No stains or anything like that uh, where they've been out of the packet and around because these are all things that are not good at all when they're using them for advertising. But another good tip as well, if you're predominantly the main production leader and you're organizing most things, so it's kind of in your capable hands to make sure everything runs smoothly. So another good tip is if you're typically the top honcho and you're doing all the production side of things when it comes to shooting, uh, it's all about a lot of communication with the model and the brand manager themselves and uh, really getting to know the sizes and making sure you have the right sizes for the model as well. And I've got a few different sizes for me today and, and that's going to make sure that the garments fit nice and snug because there's nothing worse than that. So yeah, hopefully you see you soon. I will chat in a bit. So all my lights are set up, I'm going to be using three lights in this shoot and they are my Ellen Krum ELB 400 high sync. One of, the, one of them is going to have a soft box on it and the other two are just going to be naked flash. So this can be for a number of reasons but I'll explain as I go along. But So I've been looking at what the brand kind of looks like from their Instagram accounts and I've been speaking to the brand manager and that kind of dark blackout sort of look is what they're going for. So. Um, if you're just using one key light and it's dark behind them, they just almost look like they're disappearing into the background. So I like to use a few lights and they really, really stand out against the background. So if it was a normal fitness shoot, I'd probably be using two and that would be one softbox and the other one would be a naked flash. And I think this is more than enough to light the subject evenly and also if, if you want to make sure that they are lit and they're covering the whole subject is to get that light further back. So as you can see for the first light in server, I got my one key light which is just up to the left of the subject and the other two uh, to the left and to the right of them just behind. I would usually have them a bit further back but in this case there's a mirror behind it and this really helps have the light reflect back onto the subject anyway so it doesn't look like they disappear into the background. So as a side note as well, obviously for the key light, uh, you want that bump that up a few other notches because it is your key light and you want that to be the primary light. But when you have a naked flash, obviously it's not softened, the light's not softened at all and it's not diffused. But obviously when you're using the bare flash, you have to lower it down quite dramatically uh, because it's just going to be overexposed highlights on the body. So definitely remember that. So this is kind of a regular thing they do for fitness shoots is having that, that naked flash as well. And it, it really creates those dramatic sort of highlights, depending on where you put it, either dramatic rim lights or dramatic highlights on the body. And it also gives us that really punchy, high clarity sort of look. The thing to remember is, is what color the garment actually is. And in this case, for the first couple of garments, he's, used, he's wearing black. And if we were looking for that dramatic sort of blackout background, well, He's wearing black and the garment's really not going to stick out too much against that black background. So this is why um, I shot near the mirror or I shot to other lighter sort of objects or where I can bounce the flash off the wall just to give that those strong highlights behind him just to really make him stand out. <laughs> Also, I don't know if you picked up on this, but I'm usually quite picky on how the garment looks as well. So when the model's moving around, etc., the certain parts of it can become scrunched up and uh, sleeves can roll up a little bit too much. And you just really want to pay attention and get um, any sort of scrumples or creases that may come up from the model moving around because it makes such a difference to how the garment is presented. So I'm going to tell you another tip, and this is probably a very important one. So 
brand managers, fashion designers, etc. Um, work really, really hard to make the garment stand out, and this could be by uh, certain details that they put on there, so a certain bit of patterning or uh, a certain bit of fabric that's just different, uh, so like a two-tone, so one, one side can be uh, a cotton fabric, where the one side can be mesh, and also the brand logo as well, where, they, where they've placed the logo, if it's down the side, or is it, if it's just like the left breast, or is, if there's a different sort of logo down the back. So this is something you should think about quite a lot when you're doing it, because uh, the brand fashion designers or the brand managers have really worked hard on designing these sort of things so yeah you want to make sure these things stand out and as part of the item description and when they're looking through the website and looking through the products uh, these are the kind of things which people are going to look for but not everyone but it's, it's worth having or worth having it in your portfolio which you're giving them because they may or may not use it but at least you know it's there. So this is something you can be proactive with as well. Just speak to the brand manager or if they have a fashion designer and say, so what was the main selling point of this garment and what makes this stick out? And then it's going to be your job to amplify this and create sort of poses that are going to show off that certain, certain type of fabric or that certain uniqueness about that garment. Okay, so on to the next setting. Okay, so I'm all packed up now and I've got through eight different garments um, consisting of some bottoms and mostly tops and hoodies. So I shot all these in various different settings and yeah, I'm going to present all those to the brand manager and he can choose which ones he likes the best. And also I hope everyone has picked up a few useful tips off the back of that shoe. And remember, if anyone has any specific that they want to ask me, put them down in the comments section below. And uh, just, just let me know about stuff you want to see as well and stuff what I miss or stuff that you want me to, to point out and if you need any more help on anything. So please, if you like what you're watching, give us a like and subscribe and I'll be putting out more content soon. See ya.